Um, I'm Karen Roberts. I'm taking the place of um, Mrs. Cottle, Jean Cottle. Um, she truly is our school and region's one note avenger. She just came back from Canada where she won numerous awards from, from Microsoft. She wrote this grant. Uh, you can just, uh, I'll read as, because this is hers. She, I did get to borrow her surface, is why she bought the, um, with what she bought with her grant. And it, the surface allows uh, different things for the kids to do on there. Um, it says the purpose for the ARI was to improve learning outcomes of four students who were tier two interventions. Uh, the sight word fluency, that was what I was, was able to get to use in my room also. And it was just, and it was something that the kids could use and it wasn't, stu and it wasn't teacher led. It was something that they could do on their own while I worked with or Mrs. Caudle worked with some other kids learning different things. So it wasn't anything that I had to do on my own. You know, they were self, it was self done, so. Um, she purchased a Surface Pro tablet. Um, she had um, <laughs> a military grade cover, which were all preschool and primary teachers, so we'll understand why that's military grade. Um, and one keyboard. Um, the classroom action research, it says uh, students were, uh, who were already on the hot list for needing reading interventions were targeted. That's what we call our kids uh, um, that need that extra oomph from, and I explained it to my kids that they were on fire, that they were, you know, I, one of mine accidentally saw the word hot in their name, and I said, that means you're on fire and you're ready to learn, and so like, I don't know, but we call them hot list. Um, and so she selected the four students that really needed the tier two interventions, again, with the sight words and the word fluency, and we used benchmark to benchmarks and maps to uh, gauge the, the growth of those. Um, it says conducting the action research. It says each day the students uh, interacted with the MERS uh, reader, which is part of the OneNote. And if you have the new uh, Microsoft Windows Pro, um, it has that on there, OneNote Learning, and it has this learning tool on it, which I think you can only get if you buy a new Surface, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's a really good program, and it's, it says the students read uh, sight words as part of their formative assessment on each Friday instead of these kids needed... Uh, Instead of taking a spelling test that they had no clue about, they were able to do these words. And that was in place of, as part of the formative assessments. And this is just a, some pictures of her kids using the, the OneNote. And in, like I said, it's very individualized. Uh, you can do different words week after week. I know our series that we use has different words in it and stuff, so it's very individualized. Um, the STLP children, they were the ones that were able to put all of, Ms. that's where Mrs. Cottle is today. Hope they're doing a great job. They're in Lexington doing STLP. But her STLP kids um, were the ones that would put all the words on there and then the kids would just be able to click on, you know, unit one, two, three, four. So she even had her STLP children help with that. Uh, the results, it says, um, dramatically increased their sight word recognition. All four, it says all four students had 80% or greater ability to read their assigned sight words. One student who only knew 3% uh, 
of the sight words for first grade in September now can recognize 100% of those. And that I can truly attest to because she comes over, she came over to my room and said them to me, which she was really excited. Um, on the MAP score, uh, it says one student increased not 16, 16 points, 17 points, 19, and 11. So all four of her tier two came double digits. So that's an awesome thing that you want, even though those may not be at MAP benchmark, they still made double digit increases. Um, again, these is Mrs. Cottle. Like I said, she is the one note Avenger. Um, she just came from the global, global Microsoft uh, Educator Exchange that was in Canada. Um, she was she won first place with uh, th uh, the same concept up there. So she was only like one out of 10 people in the United States to get to go. So um, it says if, if used on a regular basis, one note um, is very successful for first grade and it could even be taken either down or up. It's just according. Um, they could just spend their inner, you know, it's just a really good program. Um, but I mean, the, I like the surface. I, if anybody has one, it's really good. You get a stylus with it and they can actually ride on it and do all kinds of fun things. <laughs>